Good morning, everybody. Coming to you with another video. Uh, you know, last week was pretty hectic, the Christmas holidays and everything, and uh, I wasn't able to put together a Thinking Back Thursday, so I'm going to do it today. Uh, I'm going to title it Thinking Back Thursday, but it's actually being put out on a Tuesday, so I don't know. Sue me if you want. No, I'm just kidding. Don't. You won't get nothing. Uh, <laughs> the one thing that comes to mind is uh, one time, uh, like like I said before, we lived kind of beside this little machine shop area, and uh, we had a for a while we had a Shetland pony back there. I don't know. I think we, my dad might have got her for us for a birthday or something. I don't really remember. Uh, how we came up with this horse, but anyway, Dad got her for us, and uh, I don't, we called her Semi. I'm not sure why, but uh, I think her real name was Star. You know, she was an older horse. I think when we got her, but just like a little kid pony kind of deal. And uh, anyway, she had this pen back there behind the house, and we had this little uh, shed type deal that she could get under. Anyway, the horse is irrelevant to the story, but I was thinking about her too. But uh, we never had uh, cats as kids, you know, there, but there's always stray cats running around because there was all that scrap pipe and stuff there next to the house. And I guess the cats used it kind of as a breeding ground or something. I don't know. But uh, we were out there in that horse pen out there one day messing around me and my brother of course he's he's gonna be in just about every one of these thinking back thursdays because when i think back you know just about everything i've done as a kid we were together uh but uh anyway we were over there messing around with that in that horse pen you know looking around just being kids i guess and uh there was this cat kind of back over there by the little horse's little shed that it had and it was messing around with something this cat was of course it wasn't our cat you know we didn't like I say we didn't have any cats they were just pretty much strays running everywhere and uh oh there goes a deer running by hold on all right anyway back to the story uh, anyway, we saw this cat jacking around with something, so me and my brother, we went over there to see what it was, and there was these, you know, like tall weeds and stuff kind of on the out, outside of the horse pen, kind of on the back side of where the horse's little shed was at. And this cat had found a, oh gosh, it'd be what I would probably call like a wharf rat or a pack rat or something like that it's a big old rat i'm not talking about a mouse i mean we are talking full-fledged rat knock him out john ha! Oh, somebody help me rat this baby was a real full-fledged rat he's probably i don't know the body was probably six seven inches long and the tail was probably about like that too pretty good size little critter but uh anyway this cat was over there batting it around you know how they do and uh we walked over there and started messing with the with the rat because when we went over there the cat you know like i say it was a stray so it took off so then we're just left there messing with this half dead rat it wasn't dead but the cat was just playing with it i think before he ate it or whatever he was gonna do with it or she whatever the cat was i don't know irrelevant but anyway we we're sitting there and i think my brother might have got a stick or something was poking around on it you know and the little rat was doing his last uh will and testament breathing you know getting down to the, the final seconds there i guess anyway my brother he said hey why don't you uh grab that rat by the tail so i i said uh best i can remember i said well i don't want to get bit you know 
He said, well, get it by the end of its tail and pick it up. It can't, it can't bite you, you know, and it's half dead. So, uh, okay, I, I reached down there and grabbed it by the tail and uh, picked him up and was sitting there holding him by the tail. You know, we were looking at it. And I kid you not, that rat curled his body all the way up and around and sank his teeth right there into the end of my finger. And we were under that little horse barn. And I remember shaking my finger like that. You know, I was all in a panic because he latched onto my damn finger there. And shaking him like that. And then all of a sudden, finally, he come off and hit the ceiling of that little barn there, you know. And for years, I, I was noticing there a little bit ago, there's just one little bitty white looking area on my finger. You probably can't see it anymore, but there was two big old teeth marks there where that rat sunk his dadgum teeth into me. You know, it's a wonder I didn't get some kind of weird rat disease or something like typhoid or some crap like that. But, I, you know, I, I, I don't think I, I told my parents about it because, you know, I was scared of getting in trouble for being an idiot. But anyway never went to the doctor probably should have but i lived through it anyway and i had that battle wound for years from a bad gum rat but anyway the moral of the story today is don't pick up a rat by his tail because uh, them little boogers i don't i don't you wouldn't think there was any muscle in a rat's tail but apparently there's enough to lift their bodies back up so they can do all kinds of crap so don't pick them up by the tail thinking you're safe because they will bite you all right anyway thank y'all for watching uh thinking back thursday that's not really that exciting but it's something that was crossing my mind this morning and uh i appreciate y'all i want to ask you to please like and subscribe become a part of the herd flying bar l 2019 let's do it